not actually video. Terror strikes Bali again. Please help me! Well, I, I, I call it wicked, I call it cowardly, I call it evil. Australians among the dead as three bombs explode. 10 News with Tracy Spicer. Good evening. The holiday island of Bali has again become the target of terrorists. Three bombs ripped through popular restaurants, injuring more than 100 people. As we go to air, the death toll stands at 25, three of them Australians, although that figure is expected to rise. There are fears another two unidentified Western bodies may be Australians. Just a warning, some of the images in our bulletin this evening are quite distressing. Fears for the safety of three Australians missing in hurricane-ravaged Mexico. More than 100 people killed as a 737 goes down in Nigeria. And the new faces of the Australian music industry, the young stars who took over the Arias. 10 News with Tracy Spicer. Good morning. Fears are mounting for the safety of three Australians, including a newlywed couple, after Hurricane Wilma ravaged Mexico. Six Aussies have been rescued and are receiving food and water for the first time in days. Hello, I'm Tracy Spicer. Welcome to TENS Late News. Also tonight, New Zealand's election cliffhanger. The incredible hurricane survival story. How an elderly man made it through 18 days alone. And all I did was holler, can y'all bring me some water, please, bring me some water. And a bizarre mid-air repair job, the daring plan to fix a moving plane's landing gear. But first tonight, the Labor Party is bracing for more political fallout when Mark Latham's controversial diary goes on sale tomorrow. Already it looks like being a bestseller, the publisher's ordering more copies to cope with the expected demand. In the latest revelation from the book, Mark Latham says former Australian cricket captain Steve Waugh was approached to run as an ALP candidate. And Prime Minister Howard is in our Canberra studio. Mr Howard, you've said this election is about trust. Given the recent revelations about the children overboard affair, can the Australian people trust you? The question is, who do you trust uh, to keep your living standards safe? Who do you trust uh, more to keep interest rates low? Who do you trust more to lead Australia in a time of international terrorism? And who do you trust more to keep the budget strong so we have more money to spend on health and education? It's that kind of trust, the trust that people have in me versus Mr Latham to deliver a strong economy to keep living standards high, to keep interest rates low, to keep the budget strong so we have more money to spend on education and health. We have a track record. In the past people have trusted us and we have delivered and so it will be in the future. We can be trusted more to deliver a strong economy and to keep living standards safe and to keep interest rates low. Labor in the past has always presided over high interest rates uh, big spending, big budget deficits. We, by contrast, have kept the budget strong and it's because of the strength of that budget that we can now afford to spend more money on health and more money on education. That's the Back kind on the of children trust overboard of issue, I though, Mr Howard, just on the children overboard issue, Mr Latham says you're calling an election now to avoid further parliamentary scrutiny on that issue. Are you running scared? Oh. I'm not doing anything kind. Tracy, all of those things will be taken into account by the Australian public when we vote. But this election, Tracy, is about the next 10 years. It's not about the last three days of the last election three years ago. If Mr Latham wants to wallow in the past, let him go ahead and do so. I'm going to spend the next six weeks talking about the future of the Australian people over the next 10 years. That's what the Australian people want to hear about. You speak of the next 10 years. What about the next three or four years? When will you hand over the reins to Peter Costello? Tracy, I'll remain leader of the Liberal Party if the Australian public are kind enough to re-elect me. I'll remain leader of the Liberal Party for as long as the party wants me to. 
So finally, the Australian people can't trust you to serve a full term. I'll remain leader as long as the Liberal Party wants me to. I have poured myself into this job over the last eight and a half years, and even my fiercest critics know how committed and focused and dedicated I am. Mr Howard, thanks very much for your time this evening. Thank you. The kindness of strangers has helped Adelaide newlyweds start a new life together. Bride Laura Cox never thought she'd see her wedding day. But after a double lung transplant, she and sweetheart Steve have tied the knot. Their guests also living proof organ donation saves lives. Even their tiny attendants have had life-saving transplants. Without the organ donors, there is no second chance. You know? People like Laura don't get a second chance. That's right. I can uh, carry on now with my best friend and partner and, <laughs> and uh, have a long and happy life together. A lovely story to end on. That's all in 10 News. Thanks for joining us. Sports Tonight with Ryan Phelan is next. Good night.